Hey, seventh graders, and welcome to 5.1. Today we'll be uh, discussing the coordinate plane. Chapter five is all about graphs. Um, so um, we're going to learn <clears throat> how to graph, um, how to use a graph, some of the different <clears throat> aspects of graph, lots about graphs this, this chapter. And specifically in lesson one, we want to be able to plot and identify ordered pairs on a coordinate plane. Some of those terms might be a little bit new to you, but that's okay. We'll uh, define a few and work with them here in this lesson. So to start off, we get quite a few vocab words. Um, so um, bear with me here as we kind of get started and uh, first define these. And I'll try to give you some pictures as well that go along with them, um, just so it's a little bit easier to remember. So the first, uh, the coordinate plane, uh, what is that? That's a plane, and not talking about the airplane here, formed by the intersection of a horizontal number line um, called the x-axis. So I'm just going to put that in parentheses, the x-axis. And a vertical number line. And that's called the y-axis. Okay. So horizontal is this way. Think about the sun coming over the horizon. All right, this is the x-axis. It goes, that's, um, think about a number line, kind of like the one you see up front of the room where numbers to the right are positive and numbers to the left are negative. So negative one, negative two, negative three. And it's a plane formed by the intersection of the um, x-axis and the y-axis. So um, if I had a vertical number line, now this is my y-axis, and these would be positive numbers like 1, 2, and 3, and negative numbers like negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. On that vertical number line, you can think of like a thermometer, right? Numbers above 0 are warmer, and numbers below 0 are freezing cold. Okay, This, what we just made, is that coordinate plane. Some uh, students just like to think about it as a graph. Isn't that the same thing as a graph, Mr. Gillis? Well, Essentially, yes, it is. Okay, so there's a, a coordinate plane. We'll get lots of work working with them this section. Okay, the x axis, which we already kind of talked about, is uh, the horizontal axis on a coordinate plane. And the y-axis is um, similar, except it's the vertical axis on the coordinate plane. So I'm just going to write these quotation marks. That means that it's the same as the above. So it's the vertical axis on a coordinate plane. <clears throat> Next up, we have the term origin. And origin is the point where the x and y axis meet or intersect. Point where the x and y axis intersect. Okay, or meet. And the actual origin itself is located at zero, zero. If I were looking at mine that I made up here, it's kind of sloppy, but zero, zero, is right there. It's where the x and y axis meet. That's the origin. All right. <clears throat> the next term, hang in there, we're almost done, is uh, quadrant. And that is uh, the x and y axes. So axis is singular, axes is plural. Um, <clears throat> divide. The, and I'm going to abbreviate here, coordinate plane 
into four regions. Each region is a quadrant, so each region is a quadrant. All right, I will label those right now. So here's my uh, vertical number line or my Y axis. Here's my horizontal <clears throat> axis or my X axis. Um, the way it, so I've had students remember that this is the Y is that if you make it capital letter Y, the stem of the Y is up and down. So that's how they remember that Y is the vertical axis. There are four different regions. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, and they are numbered specifically. Okay, so this is the first region. This is the second region, and they mark them with Roman numerals. So I, two I's, three is just one, two, three. This is region, the third region. And this is the fourth region, which would be IV. Okay, if you don't know Roman numerals, if a smaller number comes before a bigger number, you subtract. So since V is five and one comes before five, uh, five minus one is four. So that's how they come up with four there. <clears throat> and these are always the same. Uh, the way I remember how this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four, is I tell myself to make the letter C. Okay, so making the letter C, one, two, three, four. That's, that's how I remember the, the, the order of the quadrants. And then lastly, to finish it out, ordered pair. Uh, an ordered pair is a pair of numbers that can be used to locate a point on the coordinate plane, all right? And <clears throat> an ordered pair looks like this. Before how I had uh, zero, zero. First you list your X coordinate and second you list your Y coordinate. And that's always, 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 okay? It's alphabetical order. Um, think X is always gonna come first because it comes before Y in the alphabet. Okay, and um, when I'm thinking about ordered pairs, I'm kind of thinking about, um, as a reminder, the game Battleship. Um, maybe you've played this before where you put your ships down on a grid and then your opponent is trying to sink your ships. Um, they might say something like uh, B2. So you go look at yours and you go down to the letter B and over two, and you'd either say hit or miss, depending if you had a ship there or not. Okay. That's kind of like how ordered pairs work. Um, if I said I had the ordered pair one, two, I would go to where X is one, because one's my first number here, so that'd be over one. And then where Y is two, I'd go up two from there, one, two. And this would be um, the point, oh, maybe I said that was A. Over one, up two. It kind of works like that but again we'll get quite a bit of practice with that here so i know it was a lot of vocabulary to kind of dump on you at once um, but it's really crucial um, that you at least have an understanding of what these terms mean uh, for graphing this this section okay let's take a look at uh, what some examples might look like then all right Example one says, identify the quadrant that contains each point. So for letter A, it wants us to look at S. All right, here is S, and it wants us to tell uh, what quadrant that is in. Well, remember, make the letter C. Quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant number four. Okay, so I, V, quadrant, quadrant four is where S is. T lies in the, remember, letter C, one, two, three, four. It's in the first quadrant, quadrant one. <clears throat> and letter C, we're looking at W, this point, 
right here? Well, W lies on the, it's, uh, what line is it on? It's on this Y axis. Okay, so it's actually between two quadrants. It's between quadrant one and quadrant two. All right, it's actually on an axis. All right, let's move on to example number two. It says, for these ones now, we're going to plot the points. So plot each point on a coordinate plane. Let's change my color here. And first it wants us to plot uh, 3, 3. So remember, first comes x, then comes y. First we plot on our x-axis, and then we go up and down however many we need to. All right, we always start at the origin. Remember, that's 0, 0 here. And first we're going to... Um, plot our x, so we need to move, our x is 3. So we need to move 3 units to the right. And why are we moving right? Well, because x is positive, so our positive numbers are to the right. And um, we also need to move 3 units up, because this is our y. Remember, it's our second number. And it's positive, so if it's positive, we're going to go up, just like on a thermometer. Starting at our origin, we go over one, two, three, and we go up three. One, two, three. Here is that point, three comma three. And I'll just label it, that's point, point D, right there. Okay. For the next one, for letter B, it wants us to plot the point E, and that is at negative two, negative three. Remember, x is first, then it's y. So we're going to start at the origin. That's where we always start. And we're going to move two units to the, well, negative 2 on the x-axis. This is the positive. So we need to actually move two units to the left. And three units, well, it's also negative 3. So on our y-axis, negative would be down. All right, so starting at the origin, two to the left and three down. One, two, three. Right there will be point E. All right, hopefully starting to catch on a little bit. Moving on to the last example of the day. It says give the coordinates of the point, and it wants us to look at <clears throat> point X. All right, let's try that. Looking at point X, it's right here. Okay, remember start at the origin. And uh, point X is how many units to the left? Well, it's one, two to the left. And how many did we go up? One, two, three, four, five units up. So if we were to write the coordinates of that, we'd write it as an ordered pair. So parentheses. First is our x. So remember we went on our horizontal number line, we went two to the left. And going left two is negative two. And second, we plot our y. So after that, we went up, which is positive, and we went up five. So this ordered pair has one negative and one positive. Negative two, five would be the location of point X. All right, let's try Y. If I were to ask you to, for the coordinates of Y, what would that be? Well, first is our X, we went left one, so that's negative one. And did we go up and down at all? No, we didn't, so negative one, zero. And lastly, for letter Z, let's try Z as well. Well, we went to the right, one, two, three. So that's positive three. And we went down, one, two, three. That's negative three. All right. Hopefully you're getting the hang of those. 
finish today by pausing this video, trying the three check it out problems on your own, and uh, then coming back to see if you got them right. All right, for these three, you should have come up with x lies in quadrant number three. One, two, three. This is the third quadrant. Plot the point on the coordinate plane. We've got negative two, three. Okay, start at the origin. Negative two means left two on my x-axis. Positive three means go up three. One, two, and three. Here is point E. And then lastly, the coordinates of point L right here. Okay, x is first. So we went left four, so that would be negative four. And we went up three, that is positive three. Hopefully you did okay on those. Let me know if you have any more questions. Um, this was kind of a quick lesson for maybe your first time seeing the coordinate plane, maybe not. Um, let me know if you need more assistance. I'll be happy to help you and I'll see you next time.